Hello everyone and welcome back to Farmerton in RimWorld. So, we got quite a bit done in the last episode, our base is looking a little bit bigger, Reynard and Matty B are getting some smash, and we actually need to rename Hammer. So I went ahead off camera and had a look at the next colonist to receive a name, Michael Mike Ham Hammer, shall be renamed Mo. that's right, that shall be our newest colonist, Master Hammerman is now Mo. I, unfortunately I can't change his actual name and surname, uh, I can only you know, changes nickname. It's, 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 it is what it is. Hopefully we'll get Duck in this episode as well. Oh, I haven't set you to be recruited, so go to Prisoner tab, chat and recruit. Difficulty 99%. It may be a while before Duck becomes one of the friends, or one of the, one of the squad, you know. Let's also go ahead and run some power conduits through these walls. Uh, and we can link things up. You know what, run them outside actually, I don't mind that. Um, first ch a chunk of spacecraft has fallen and landed nearby. Oh, that is- Oh, and it killed a raccoon, so some free food too. How lovely. Okay, we need to get hauling done today. That is what I've realized. Uh, as well as a bit of ch plant chopping. Good lord, we need to deforest this area and turn that into a lovely base. So I'm gonna set everybody going. Uh, Maddie, you gotta- surely you gotta eat more than that, man. That was just like five berries. Eat these berries too, before you complain. Okay, at least he's full now. Reynard, you eat, eat the rest of these here berries. I don't even care. Okay, cool. Let's re go ahead and relocate these prisoner beds to this region. Uh huh. And that one too. Do, 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 do. Uh, and that's being built. No, no, I don't want to build another one. I want to move these ones because we can use that room as a production room. It's kind of nice and close to our little stockpile. Keep our prisoners up yonder. Let's also put another door in here, I'm realizing. Probably a good idea. How are the temperatures in here? They are negative 11. So I'll show you what I was talking about. So right now, this cooler is running at max capacity, keeping everything here in negative 11. Or at negative 11, rather. Power usage is high. This one, whose time for temperature is negative 9 degrees Celsius, is currently very little. It's uh, it'll Every now and then it'll peak up when the temperature outside picks up. But for the most part, it is running at 20 watts, not 200. And that frees up quite a bit of excess power for us, which is important um, for when... You know, you're using solar and stuff. Okay, so we got some alpacas. So we don't have to tame... What, you're a male alpaca. What are you guys? Female, male, female. Fantastic. We don't need another male, so we're going to cancel taming on that alpaca. And we're going to move these animals to the home area. Now, this is really, really fantastic. Having alpacas is so helpful. They they give you wool. They give you milk. Oh, they're useful. Damn, I love them. And you only you sort of, you know, you want one male and then a bunch of females and let them breed. Let them grow and then slaughter all the, the males once they reach adulthood, because their genetic seed is their only value. Uh, you done there, Matty B? Oh, you're putting the roof on. Okay, I was wondering why you uh, stopped building. Okay, so we have three bedrooms built. Let's go ahead and throw in another double bed. Uh, you may be wondering why I don't build them like uniformly, and I, I just like you know, having a bit of, uh, bit of difference. We're also going to want to floor these rooms ASAP. Uh, which we do not have the resources for, but YOLO. Um, also, these beds are meant to be... I'm just going to have to do this one by one, aren't I? Yeah, they're meant to be prisoner beds. Fantastic. Who's fighting? What's what's wrong? Oh, I heard a... That was a bit of a shame. I, I thought I heard a uh, sort of like a, a warning. That's fine. Okay, let's install these stools up there, and then we'll get Duck moved up to his new cell. Nice and completed. Mo, can you possibly... Can you construct? Um, are you any good at construction? No, you're bad. You can do this. You can learn cooking, though. You're going to give everybody food poisoning initially, but it's fine. <laughs> Work his way up. And he goes to go to number one research. Our bench is built. So let's go ahead and give you something to sit on so you don't complain. Uh, what is our... 114 deer hide. So we can actually use that to build ourselves a comfy armchair. Deer hide. Rotate. Place that down. Uh, I'm going to get Matty B, because he's our best constructor, to do just that. So here we will haul the various components. There we go. Oh, Baymax is going to have a rough night sleeping on the floor again. She's not going to like that. It is what it is, though, I suppose. Uh, let's get that chair complete. Hopefully it's a good quality one. And uh, normal quality is just fine. So the comfort there is then 0.8. So while um, Mr. Mo there is sitting and researching, he will receive a mood boost. Okay, so what do we want to get? Now, this is a hard one. I want to get up to machining, and that requires smithing. I also like to get carpet making done. Electric smelting would be cool, because then we can cremate corpses. We don't have to bury them. 
Mm, a lot of things to choose from. Auto doors speed up movement a lot because the doors open before you even get there. Refining's nice to get chem fuel because then you can build... Where are they? Uh, moisture pump we very much need, so we want to rush that. And for that we need... Okay, let's go Let's go here. So we need moisture pump, microelectronics basics. We've got electricity. We need machining, which requires smithing. Okay, so smithing it is, and that will be our research. Okay, Matty B, why are you still awake? Oh, you guys are smashing. I understand. Okay, that's fair. I don't want to interrupt you. Let me let me just look away. Let me in, in modesty. Okay, we have a lot of shit lying around the map. We really need to get things hauled in. I've got too many jobs queued up here. Is the problem? Okay, our alpacas are doing just fine. Um, oh, please stop eating the survival meals, guys. Uh, yes, don't do that. In fact, actually, we need to get these hauled right out of here. In fact, well, they should be hauled already. I don't know why they haven't been. Uh, Baymax, can you go ahead and haul those survival meals? Thank you. Are you going to eat one? Okay, well, don't do that. But I guess you've done it now. So I can't believe you've done this. I cannot believe you've done this. And let's go ahead and haul that. There we go. You're carrying the dough. Can you take Duck to his bed? There we go. Let's get him moved to his new cell so he has someone feeding him. Oh, and that's why we are out of uh, power. I was trying to work out, like, you know, why aren't things getting cooked? We're out of meals. Uh, we are, in fact, out of power. We had to refuel our generator. Okay, cool. So she'll continue to butcher those animals. And then she should, yes, begin to cook. Fantastic. Okay, what we're actually going to do is change this build up a bit. We're going to see if she can just drop it on the floor. So once she's done with the food, throw it on the floor. Someone will come and get it. Don't even think about it. In fact, walk over it every single time. Just to keep it nice and hygienic. Good call, girl. Good call. Let's get this rice hauled in before it all deteriorates outside. See what I mean? Like, they'll just leave stuff outside, and it's it's so perplexing. Um, we can prioritize hauling, but then they won't do other stuff, and we have a lot more we need doing right now than hauling. So get all that in. I'm just going to get, I'm just going to micromanage Reynard here and just get him to repeatedly haul in our rice. As you can see, we have quite a lot of it from one harvest, which is very nice. Uh, we will discuss the other uh, crops today, I think, because I want to sort of expand our agriculture quite a bit. Uh, and then, of course, we will be pushing our um, our food storage down. We'll probably take over this room in the end. And that will all be freezer space. So I don't want to build in here just yet. That's a bit ballsy. What happened to your table? Where, where, where'd the table go? What the fuck? Oh, I... 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 What? <laughs> Someone had hauled off the table. Um, let's get you to haul in these berries, man, before you deconstruct that ship chunk. That's just written. Build makes more hit hauling otherwise for us all. Also, the colonists can eat berries um, without any sort of, like, mood debuff. It's the only food they can eat raw, which makes me think... Let's actually go ahead here, and we're going to take berries off the menu. You can't cook with berries. Uh, let's also go ahead and bring that up to 20 simple meals. And I'd like to adjust that down to... Yeah, so when we hit four, once everybody has only one meal left, get cooking again. Now, floors. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, the bedrooms definitely need some, some TLC. So let's get this done in this episode. Um, we have quite a lot of raw materials lying around. 570, yes. So let's go and get a couple more comfort things, like dresses. Put one there, we'll stick a dresser in this corner for this guy, one there. Let's get some standing lamps in these rooms, so these guys do have some some basic illumination. In fact, actually, let's put this one here. And then what we can do is go ahead and give just a few of these beds, just some bedside tables, just so it's not quite as shit in here. Or just that bed. That bed can have a bedside table. Awesome. Then... We're going to want to give some joy to our prisoners, so let's give them a horseshoe pin right over here, and then they can sort of throw over that bed. <laughs> it's a bit janky, but it is what it is. Um, is our research going along? Yes, it's going along quickly. Mo is blazing through it. Jeez, he really is the intellectual, named after his namesake. Okay, let's... it's all getting built. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's throw down um, a couple more bedroom aesthetic pieces. We're going to give everybody some plant pots, just like that, in the corners. Uh, we'll give one there, one there, one there, put it there, rather. Um, and the reason for that is that it will really improve 
the quality of their rooms. No, no, don't, 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 don't deconstruct, just make roses. So there's two flowers you can pick from, there's daylilies and roses, they give the same amount of beauty. Actually, I think daylilies are, daylilies are slightly more. Roses give 14 beauty, and daylilies are 22, um, right? 18. Okay, daily these are 18, but you want to go roses because you only have to replant those every 10 days, whereas lilies you have to replant them every three days. And it just becomes quite, you know, sort of intense labor-wise that you have your, your growers going around and, you know, freaking planting roses instead of planting rice. And you know us in Farmerton, we're all about that rice. We... <laughs> uh, let's just micromanage Medi B because he's gonna... Oh, he grabbed her. Okay, good. His next job was to haul... If his next job was to build something, he would have ignored hauling that stuff and just walked off like into the distance dramatically. Okay, cool. Now, meals that are outside of your stockpiles will not register here and therefore will not register for purposes of those bills. So if you've got like 50 meals lying on the floor, but none in the stockpile, they will just keep cooking until your stockpile limit reaches the specified amount. Which is why dropping the meals on the floor isn't the best idea, but it is the most efficient way to do it. Otherwise, they sort of like, you know, they walk in, drop off the meal, pick up some meat, walk back. This way, they just sort of grab whatever's closest. Like, they'll just grab whatever's next to the door here. Um, in this case, that's berries, so that doesn't really apply, but you know what I mean. Okay, you're going to go to sleep. Fantastic. Everyone's doing well. So what's our next step forward here? Let's go ahead and... Kind of, what kind of materials? We've got 225 wood. Can we floor this kitchen? We can throw down some concrete in here because no one has to go in there. That's only 36 steel. That's right, concrete is made with steel in this game. So what is that, 126? Yes, we do have the materials to do it, so let's do it. And then I think we can go ahead and get some more wood designated for chopping. Um, we're sort of going to clear out up here as much as possible. We are very secure for food, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we are about to have our smithing research done, which will be fantastic. In fact, you know what, let's go ahead and bridge this so that I don't use, I'm not tempted to use this for anything other than a freezer space in the future. Um, in fact, we could make that freezer space right now. Why the hell not, right? So let's deconstruct that and let's throw in a little more padding inside these walls, right? Gonna go up that way, gonna go up that way. This is gonna get reinstalled uh, just over here for now. We'll move it. Build, 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 build. Nice. Oh, what are we doing for power? We, yeah, we're probably actually, we probably actually don't have enough power. Yeah, to power everything. We don't. So is this dropping? No, it's fine. So we either need to expand our generators or switch over to renewable resource energy. I'm tempted to go renewable right off the bat. It is, it is just so much better. Um, in, the, in, the, in the long run, in the short term, it's a bit dicey, especially for the early game. Because setting up renewables is, ooh, it takes a while to get it going properly. Uh, and then what we can do is go ahead and deconstruct this wall. Right. All of that. In fact, actually, no, let's not deconstruct that. Because we're going to build up into those spaces. Yay. Sweet. Oh, we can deconstruct that one. Okay, then we can also go ahead and actually deconstruct the conduits running through all of this. Um, we don't need that one. We don't need that one. Uh, and then we can neaten that up a bit. Yeah, we're going to take things around the outside edge here, I think. So, click again to get the conduits. Click again to get the conduit. Delete those ones. We don't need them. And then it'll just sort of run around the edges. Then we can also go ahead and reclaim some of our wood that we spent here. Remove that floor space. What's the temperature like in here? Minus six, minus seven. Yeah, those two freezers, those two little guys might struggle to do it. Oh no, they're doing it. They're doing it. It's just taking a while. Pull the wood out. Pull the wood out. Thank you. Remove that floor. Compile all the wood into a stack again. There we go. Okay, and then we can floor that just like we did above. Fantastic. And then we can actually go ahead and improve that stockpile. So that's a long boy of a freezer, but it will do the trick. I'm not too fussed about it. Um, yeah, that's actually kind of a bizarre design. What I really should do is take out this interior wall, right? And then push the insulation out one this way. Because um, we can always just move the stockpile back one. Uh, but we can do that in the future. That's 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 something. We'll keep that flexible. We won't we won't pave this area just yet. A doe has self-tamed. 
Where is it? Is that a female doe? It is a female. I mean, what, what am I saying? Of course it's a fucking female doe. You don't get male does. Uh, so, let us go ahead and designate her to come home. Perfect. Uh, all the wood is being chopped up here. Very nice. Okay, so now we can start focusing, I think, getting a bit of mining done. So, who is our best miner? Renat. Okay, we're going to put you on a two. Jeez, everyone else is really terrible. Okay, so it's only Reynard, really. Uh, he should be done growing for the most part. Everything's been sown there. So let's go ahead and schedule you in for a bit of chopping over there. Actually, we'll leave that steel for now. Come and mine like these extraneous deposits out here. Okay, he'll go and do that. And here we go. Chop, chop, chop. And that's going to take forever. So I'm going to let him run, get us some more steel so we can build up some defenses. Because, uh, yeah, we're pretty exposed at present, and I don't like it. In fact, we can get... Can we make stone... Yes, we can do a stone cutter's table. Okay, cool. So let's get a production room built. Um, I don't want to build over that rich soil. We can go ahead and deconstruct this uh, outlying building here. Uh, yeah, it's too small to be of any real use to us, and we can use the resources and get the stone blocks back. So let's go ahead and designate quite a large space. Probably an 8Y room, yeah, all the way down to this height, and that will form, let's cancel that and put in a door right there, um, perfect, and we can actually go ahead and get all this shit hauled out as well, while we're at it, and start reinforcing our defensive line down there, let's get all this moved, let's get this moved so the enemy can't use that as cover, uh huh, perfect, Baymax has got nothing better to do than haul, really? I mean, it has to happen, so it's, it's okay, I guess. Do it if you have to. Uh, it has to happen sometime. All right, this is all getting torn down. Lovely. Let's go ahead and finish off those walls. Can you prioritize that one so I can finish placing this? And I don't forget to like, like leave a hole in the wall or something. Okay, cool. Do they prioritize construction over deconstruction? I thought it was the other way around. Oh, that kind of makes sense, I suppose. Um, we can actually get a second door right in here. Um, that's a good idea, so that we can have two points of access to this room. Yeah, let's do that. And then we can also go ahead and expand our growing a bit. Uh, Raynaud will be preoccupied with mining for a while, um, so this isn't the best time to do it if we want to get that mining done, but it's okay. Let's get the basic crops going. I kind of want to match the rich soil. Okay, so in here, we're not going to grow potatoes. So let me explain the three basic food crops quickly, right? Or there's four, but the three basic ones. So you got rice, Grows fast, um, moderate yield, pretty low yield, but it's a fast-growing plant. And so, you know, for a, you can get five or six rice from each plant. Not too terrible. Potatoes are in a kind of like a weird liminal space in the game. Um, they're not affected by fertility very much. So you can literally grow them like fucking gravel, and they'll grow fine. So, yeah, planting potatoes in low-quality soil is a good idea, but they take a really long time to grow. And... Um, yeah, they, they, they have pretty high yield, and they're pretty resilient to, to ch change in temperature, whereas rice is very brittle. Uh, but yeah, potatoes, they're kind of a weird space. They don't get benefits from fertility. So planting corn, rather, in a, a field like this would be the perfect place, because that is a extremely high fertility sensitivity. It is um, 100%, yeah. So there we go. That's not that high, actually. <laughs> is rice higher? I think rice is... What's rice? Like 50%? Okay. No, nothing. It's not that extreme. Um, but you'll see potatoes, if we drop down, oh, I suppose I can just do it from here. If we drop down a potato, you'll see the fertility sensitivity is 40%. So it doesn't really care what kind of soil it's planted in. It won't get that bonus. So corn will receive the full 140% bonus. Um, see, growth rate is 140% because of the soil it is planted in. Pretty nifty. Then we're going to want to get some of our utility crops. So... Oh, the other food crop is berries. You can you can plant your own, um, or they call it strawberries, but it's exactly the same. It's just berries, like you can harvest in the wild. Uh, so you can sort of do that if you've, you know, cut down the bushes nearby you or whatever. Stop growing potatoes. We need to grow um, cotton here. Cotton's a big one. Um, it allows you to make carpets, and it also allows you to get some pretty cheap materials for manufacturing clothing, which is one of the best ways to make money in RimWorld. Uh, yeah, we currently have 800 cash dollar, in the form of silver, which is Rimbold's currency, inexplicably. Never really get into that. Um, stop doing that. We want to grow heel root here, which is our uh, medicinal herb, and that can be manufactured into medicine eventually, I think. I don't know. 
It takes forever to grow though, so it's a good idea to plant a rather large field so that you get a big bulk crop all at once. And let's just move you over there. And this then, uh, I had a plan for all of this. I think we wanted to grow hops here, which was, yes, yes, we want to grow hops. Perfect. And then last but not least, let's just do grow and grow. And then this little this little segment here will be corn again. Actually, you know what? Let's go for smoke leaf. We're gonna get some weed growing in our fields. But yeah, so that is the full size of um, this. You know what? Let's grow some potatoes. We got some gravel down here, right? It doesn't matter to them too much. Let's just let's just fuck it. Let's just grow some potatoes in that patch right there. Okay, so Reynolds got his work cut out for him for quite a while ahead. Uh, he will get through it eventually, but you know, maybe we might want to give him someone to help out. Maybe. B. Uh, what do you do? You haul first? No, you plant first. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Just fine. Have we hauled all of our chunks? We have. So this can get moved. Uh, this can get moved. This can get moved. Jeez, that's a lot of granite. Um, perfect. And our production room is done. Let's go ahead and tear up the floor on this one. We can also chop down that oak tree and that tree. We can get rid of that as well. Uh, the rest of us can just get floored over pretty easily. Then, what are we going to do here? Uh, let's also cut plants. I don't want trees in my walkways. Ah, I've really got to floor this so that it doesn't grow again, but it's fine for now. Uh, I don't want these things growing here. Um, the reason for that is because they slow down people quite a lot if they walk over them. And that's why also having too wide is helpful, because if anything sort of like gets left in the street. You don't have people walking over it and slowing them down massively. You can just sort of walk around and they'll be fine. Okay, so production room. What are we doing here? We're going to want to place... A stone cutter's table is kind of a janky spot there in the kitchen, but whatever. We're going to place down a stone cutter's table right by the door here, and there's a reason for my madness there. Um, we're going to want to place down a fueled smithy, um, because I need to get us some... Actually, do we need a smithy? Not really, we're gonna jump straight to machining table. In fact, actually, let's go straight for machining table. Didn't select it, there we go. Um, yeah, so let's let's go straight for the machining table. Uh, production, what else have we got here? We can get the electric tailor bench, that's a good one. Uh, not like Taylor Swift, but like a tailor of things. Uh, we can probably, you know what, let's maybe rebuild the research bench into this room. Um, in fact, actually, we'll put it on this back wall because when we put the advanced research bench in, it'll take up this entire wall with its little booster. It's called a multi-analyzer. It'll all make sense soon. Don't worry about that. Let's go ahead and get some light in here so that we are able to see what we are doing. Very nice. Uh, we also need power through these walls, and I'm actually going to ring this entire room with conduits. Uh, let's cross that there, put that there. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, so they will merrily work away. Uh, how much granite blocks do we have? How many, rather? We have 94 granite blocks. That might be enough to start a wall. Uh, what could we wall off with 94 granite blocks? Could we wall off the segment? Is there anything to mine in here? It doesn't look like it. Uh, well, let's. we can get started there. That's 60, and we have 90. So, 65. That's, yeah. I mean, it, they'll wall it off as it comes. But for now, this will do. So we are currently excluding ourselves from that geyser, which isn't great. So what if, instead of doing it like that, what if we went ahead, right, and walled off, leave a gap there so they can go ahead and build that outer wall, cancel that. Let's wall it off here so we have access to the steam geyser still. And you know, we can always just sort of like tunnel through here, build a steam geyser, wrap it around in, in walls so nothing can hurt it. You know what, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to, okay, so the steam geyser sits, the steam generator rather, sits on it like one tile wide. So let's go too wide of that, like this. Yeah, I think so. I think that's correct. Uh, we can always move it. It's a bit of a bitch, but we can always move it. Okay, so let's put that there, and then we're going to give that a steel door for strength and security. Perfect, just like that. I'm also going to say we don't want to roof that zone because it's going to get really hot in there, you know, what with a steam geyser billowing into the space. Uh, if you're playing in a cold biome, that's also a really nice way to uh, get some free heating is to build around steam geysers. They're ugly af, like your colonists don't like to look at them, but uh, they really do help, uh, you know, keep everything alive. Okay, so we need more power. We have 300 steel, which means we can build three renewable things. 
So a little trick for doing just that um, is to find some... I like to place my wind turbines going over my fields because uh, if there's like trees and stuff in the way of your wind turbines, they won't function properly. They'll, they'll complain. They'll say like, no, there's, you know, they're being obstructed and they get like lowered, uh, reduced uh, wind flow. So let's actually go ahead and put that there. I know it is covering our, some of our uh, field, but that's fine. And then just behind it, we're going to stick our solar panels, just like that. And we will need to build batteries for these, obviously, but uh, for now, this will work. Let's just uh, connect them all with a bit of redundancy and then run them into the system, just like that. And we can also get a bit of redundancy going up that way. And do you know what? Screw it. While we're at it, go this way as well. Raynaut, what are you fighting? <gasps> oh my god. A mad cougar has attempted to eat Raynaut. Oh god, she's so much older than him. It's just inappropriate. Come here, Mo. Quickly, Baymax, move in there. Use that just Use that survival rifle. Maddie B, get in here, boy. Get in here. Are you in range? You are. Shoot at that thing. Hit it. Oh, there we go. Come on, kill it. Oh, it's gonna kill him. Predators will, like, straight up kill your colonists. Okay, thankfully it's not hunt- Look, so now, there's two types of attack from animals, right? If this thing was hunting Raynaut, it would have continued to attack him, rip him apart, kill him, and then eat him. But, since it's only a manhunter, it just wants to put everybody down. It wants to take down as many dudes as possible. So let's go ahead and rescue Raynaut. You, come and freaking melee attack this thing to death. You go kick it in the head. Till it dies. Okay, so they will run over and do just that. Perfect. Oh, Cougar, you're going down. You're going down hard. Okay, let's haul the Cougar into storage. And who is not treat? Who is my doctor, actually? Is it Reynard? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, it's actually Baymax who needs to be tending to Reynard, please, before he bleeds to death. He's got like a bite in his neck. Was it his neck? Uh, no, his left leg has literally been ripped off. Oh, and you're just gonna like leave him bleeding on the bed. How kind. That's also a bit of a problem because now his movement is going to be very, very, very bad. It's gonna be at 50% of value. So Raynaud's gonna be pretty slow moving around the place. Jeez, these rice plants are, uh, yeah. We need to catch up on uh, on everything. We need some more colonists. Uh, okay, we can actually go ahead and delete this, uh, this field. We don't need to harv harvest berry bushes any longer. That's not really a concern of ours. Maddie B, how are you doing? You're doing some joy, getting happy. That's good. Come eat these berries before someone else does. Uh-huh. Perfect. Uh, eight without table, minus three. It's okay, though. We'll, we'll survive. Um, okay, the conduits are being run. They will prioritize building conduits, I think, over other steel-requiring jobs. Or is it just what's closest? It's just what's closest. Okay. Um, I'd prefer they did the conduits first because uh, we can always go ahead and mine more steel. This isn't pressing. What is currently not running? Because this thing definitely doesn't have the capacity to support everything. Oh, it's the solar panels being engaged. Okay, nice. So now we have another, what's this, 3400 watts in the day as opposed to the 1000 watts this thing provided. But of course at night, solar panels don't do much for us. Um, our wind turbine will give us anywhere between, like, I think 100 and 3,200 watts, so, but they're, they're kind of unreliable because the wind speed is completely randomized. Okay, now I saw a marriage notification. Is Reynard getting married to Matt? Is he really? Oh, he proposed. Matty B proposed. Oh, Matt, what a gentleman. Look at you making your man happy. Congratulations, guys. Um... Hmm. Hmm. What are we doing now? Okay, farming's getting done. That's important. Is that really the easiest path for you to cook from? Can you not just go through this door? You know what? Have we got auto doors? No, we don't. Not yet. I really want to swap these out for auto doors. What the fuck is Mo doing? Okay, he's researching. That's good. Let's actually go ahead and deconstruct that table and get this armchair moved up there so he's a bit happier with himself. Um, we need a, we need like a cleaning slave. That's what we really need here. Someone just to like, you know, make this place not as shit. What's your cooking skill at now? Still four. Who, do we have any competent cooks? Uh, just Mo. But I prefer he was researching, to be honest. Um, yeah, no, you, you, st you stick with researching, man. We got a lot to get through. I really want that machining table. It helps a lot because you can make guns. And I need to make a sniper rifle pretty soon. Uh, dicking around with these revolvers is just, it's not going to cut it, you know. 
unlike Baymax here, who was cutting the plants. But that is that is time, I think, for this episode, guys. Um, oh, let's quickly refuel that before I forget, because I'm actually going to take a break after this recording. Um, so, if you guys have any suggestions for the colony, you got anything you want to see done, you got any questions you have asked, please leave a comment down below. If you would like your name in game, either hit that subscribe button and you'll be added to the list, or comment on this video and you'll be put to the top of the list. That's right, active commenters get preference, just because I know you guys are actually watching the series and you're going to want it to see. You know, I've got a lot of subscribers that uh, they often do their own thing. Anywho, if you enjoyed the episode, uh, hit that like button. And if you didn't hit that dislike button, and let me know why. As always, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.